Welcome. In this video clip, we'll be walking through how to install NRDS Win, um, which is a passive Windows agent. Um, and we'll be installing it on both as Windows 2003 as well as a Windows 2008 machine. Um, as you can see, we've downloaded um, the executable file from Nagios Exchange. And we've selected the default install path and selected Next. Um, after after you install the, the executable, um, go ahead and open Nagios and go to Inbound Transfers. Um, here you'll find the NRDP token number. Um, take that token number and add it to the config.ini file found in your install directory. So here's a sample config.ini file. Um, this is how it installs as default. So what we're going to do is go ahead and paste in um, the NRDP token from our Nagios uh, instance. And then uh, we're also going to um, enter the IP address um, followed by forward slash NRDP. This will be the location where the, the checks get sent to over HTTP. And then we're going to give this a unique host name. And that is all that's required to set up checks for um, NRDS Win. Um, we're also going to quickly go through and set up a Windows 2008 machine. Um, the install process is going to be pretty pretty similar. Um, so once again, we're going to download the executable from the Exchange site. We're going to launch the executable, select our install path. Once our install path is, once it has finished installing, we'll go in and go to unconf um, sorry, inbound transfers rather, and select our token number. And once again, we're going to uh, paste this into the config.ini file. Okay, so we have that pasted in the ini file. Now we're going to put in our IP address of the Nagios machine or host name would, would be fine. And then we're going to select a unique host name for this machine as well. Okay, so now we have both of our um, host names, um, both of our Windows servers set up um, to send uh, passive check results back. Um, so basically once the install co completes, it creates a scheduled task. Um, so now we're going to wait for the scheduled task to send back the check results for each of these machines. And we're going to pause the video here for just a minute while we wait for the task to execute. Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to go into our unconfigured objects. And as you can see, we have two unconfigured objects now. Um, we'll go ahead and select the first one and just leave mo the default settings um, as follows. Okay, so we've configured the first object. And as you can see, it's waiting for its passive check result data. We're going to select the next host. And leave all the default options as well on this one. And now that we've done that, we have successfully configured both, both of our hosts. Um, so now we're going to wait for the, the check data that's sent on a regular interval to populate. And for convenience, we have sped up the, the speed of this clip here. Um, so on the right, you'll notice the check data just populated. Looks like everything is okay except for there is an issue with the event log on this machine. And we're still waiting for host data on the left machine. Um, check data rather. Okay, so it looks like that populated just fine. And then one other um, thing to take a look at is the dot log file. Um, this is where you can do troubleshooting. As you can see, everything is a OK here. And that completes our video tutorial. Um, hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.